Hello, welcome to my live video about Taurus versus Scorpio, who is the strongest zodiac sign. If you would like a reading from me, make sure you check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. I would love to read for you. I am an astrologer as well as a psychic tarot reader. Also, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. And whether you're new or not, hit the bell next to the subscribe button so that you get a notification whenever I go live. So Matt, okay, Matt, Matt says, hi, Lamar, I hope you're fair with this one. You were biased with the Virgos versus Scorpio. Okay, all right, Matt, I respect your opinion. You're still one of the best and most on point. Thank you, Matt, I really appreciate that. Hey, Dina, so this is the Scorpio, or the Virgo, <laughs> Matt is tripping me up already. It's the Virgo versus Taurus video, who's the strongest zodiac sign. So like I said, make sure you guys like the video. Thank you all for being here. Here we have two earth signs, okay? Um, one who is ruled by Venus, Taurus. Venus rules romance, friendship, harmony, beauty. What we find aesthetically pleasing. It's also what we spend our money on, how we make our money. And then we have Virgo over here, who's also an earth sign, ruled by Mercury. Mercury rules communication, intellect, the mind, okay? It rules our primary through secondary, um, well, actually, no, it rules our young child to young adulthood years, okay, as well. So... This is going to be an interesting battle, you guys. I'm really excited. So Taurus. First of all, Taurus is a very stubborn zodiac sign, a very stubborn earth sign. So like I always say in these videos, once Taurus, does, once Taurus decides to take a stance on something, they stick to it. You know, uh, it's it can be difficult to get a Taurus to budge in battle, um, which I think can be very, very frustrating for a Virgo who is used to kind of being able to kind of pick apart someone or figure out someone someone's Achilles heel or someone's weakness and kind of just pick at it until they crack, right? But um, unfortunately, here we have two zodiac signs of the same element. So when you have a battle with zodiac signs of the same element or the same zodiac signs, it can be a difficult battle because kind of, you know, both parties know how to push one another's buttons. I will also say that Taurus versus Virgo can be a battle of silence, all right? A battle of the shoulder colder or the cold shoulder, um, a battle of the silent treatment. You know, uh, Virgos and, and Tauruses, um, they're an interesting um, pair of opponents, all right? Because Taurus is, Taurus is the type of person who always sees, and no shade Tauruses, I love you guys, okay? I love Earth energy. I have a whole bunch of Earth, Capricorn, Virgo rising here. Choices have a way sometimes where it can be me versus them or me and them over there, right? Whereas sometimes Taurus, because they're ruled by Venus, you know, they that which rules relationships, friendships, and also Taurus rules the second house. So that's our sense of self-worth, our, you know, personal belongings, our finances, blah, 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 right? Sometimes Tauruses can be very protective of what they value, who they value. Sometimes they can be... Protective of themselves, and sometimes it can come from a place of pride. So, the thing with Tauruses sometimes in battle is that sometimes Tauruses can see everything that their opponent does as something against them, or they can see things that aren't even associated with them as something that is associated with them, you know. And it's you know, kind of like a self absorbent kind of energy. Um, which may get Taurus stripped up a bit. So Tauruses have to watch that energy of being kind of, how do I say, I, I kind of want to say overly confident, overly bold with a Virgo, all right? Because sometimes I'm not going to lie that overly boldness, overly confident, I'm protecting what's mine at all costs, energy that Tauruses have. It can work for you guys in battle. Hey, Rihanna. Taurus is emotionally stronger than Virgo, is logically and mentally stronger, I think. I agree. Exactly. Another thing I've learned, Taurus is really good friends when you need a shoulder to cry on. Virgo can tell it like it is. You can come off harsh, but what you need to hear in the moment. I love both. Exactly. Taurus overall is stronger. However, Virgos make up for being more mentally and intellectually stronger, which is based upon their intelligence. Virgos have many redeeming qualities. Leon Virgo cusp, it sounds like no, like Mo and Elisa. Yes, y'all. Okay, y'all are kind of getting in the groove here. Exactly. I don't know. I, you know, let's hold off on who's stronger quite yet. All right. Um, Cause I think you guys are just kind of counting out Virgo here, you know, Virgos 
have a way about them, like Dina said, where they can be very, or who said that actually? Yeah, it was Dina, where they can be mentally strong, logically strong. So I remember, like I was saying, like George, Virgos are very perceptive types of people. They're very observational people. I'm a Virgo rising. So, you know, Virgos are the types of people who want to figure you out first. They want to figure out where is your psychological mind? Where are you coming from? Where I don't think Taurus is always willing to take the time, the patience to do all of that. I think Taurus wants to figure, figure you out on the spot. If they can't figure you out on the spot, they just go for the kill. You know what I'm saying? Which can work for you or against you with a Virgo, right? Very complex, exactly. Hello, Mr. Townsend. Happy New Year to you. Love it. Happy New Year, Lori. Love you too. <clears throat> so you, and, and I think it's kind of the same thing with a Virgo. Like a Virgo doesn't want to be overly confident thinking that they understand their partner or their, their partner. I don't know. Maybe you're in a battle with your partner, honey, but they don't. A Virgo doesn't want to become overly confident in thinking that they understand their opponent to the point that, oh, I've got this in the bag. So I think, you know, the weakness for both parties here can be overly overconfidence, you know, being overly confident in one's abilities and one's reasonings, if that makes sense. Reasonings for doing what you're doing. Unfortunately, I think this is a battle of patience, to be honest. You know, it's a battle of, because I think these two are the types of people, remember remember they're earth signs, so they conserve energy. They're not the types of people like maybe fire or water who expend their energy. You know, earth signs are like air. You know, they prefer to kind of conserve their energy, figure things out, figure out, you know, what, they, what the best method of... Um, method of movement is, I guess, you know, before they actually go for the kill. And here we have two earth signs versus each other. You know what I'm saying? Virgo, like I was saying, are very perceptive people. They observe, you know, Virgos are very, you know, they observe. They're also very judgmental and critical, which is why I think that just charging for it and going for it, Taurus, would not work for your benefit because you know, uh, Virgos, are, Virgos are really good at judging your intention, you know, seeing where you're coming from. So, like, when it comes to overconfidence, once again, like, a, a Virgo will be able to tell when a Taurus is just being overconfident and thinking they're weak. You know what I'm saying? So, a Virgo will use that against you. Remember, they're very perceptive and observational. All right, so Virgos are the types of people who want to figure you out first before making a move. They're that type of earth sign, whereas a Taurus is, okay, what's this person's gig? What's this person person's energy? And, you know, if they can't figure a person out quick enough, and they may struggle with that when it comes to a Virgo. Virgos are very difficult to understand. They're an earth sign ruled by Mercury. So not only are they an earth sign who has difficulty expressing their emotions, expressing their true feelings, expressing their, you know, their true self. They're really good at masking themselves. All right. And that's when I say crack, by the way. Okay. So when I say crack, I mean, your mask is cracking, right? So we all wear masks, you know, it's a form of protection, but you know, when our mask cracks, that starts to start show our true vulnerable self, right? Virgos have really good poker faces, I think. And I think Tauruses sometimes don't. Remember, it's the bull. The bull gets frustrated very easily. The bull, you know, eventually charges after whatever it is that's irritating them. You know, and this can be in many different ways. And I have to admit, sometimes it works for the bull. Sometimes it works against the bull. For example, a Taurus, you know, can be charged and, you know, this is a kind of a different setting, not a battle, but like be charged to go out, you know, go up to someone and say, hey, I really like you. Would you like to go out, go out on a date? That person can either say no or yes, you know, but in that moment, Taurus was brave enough, confident enough to just go for it. That's what I'm talking about when Tauruses have this way about them where they're not always that patient to figure their opponent out. Sometimes they just go with what they know, with what they feel. So I would say out of all of the earth signs, Taurus is the feeler, whereas Capricorn and Virgo are the thinkers. Although Taurus is a thinker too, let's keep it real. Many Virgos and Taurus are in relationships. Some say that's the only sign that tolerates us. <laughs> Taurus people are more inclined to be nice and welcoming without judgment. Virgos will, like myself, would probably be a bit judgmental towards someone new. Exactly. 
And in battle, that could work for you or against you. You know, that's also a good point because Tauruses can sometimes, I don't know, Virgos, I, you know, can sometimes be the types to let their guard down, but I think Taurus would most likely let their guard down sooner. If that, like, they're most likely to show their hand first or crack first, you know, so. But it's, like, interesting because Taurus in that way kind of has this Scorpio energy where even when they crack, it's like they can still kind of turn it turn into, a, like, a Hulk. And, you know, kind of still win the battle. So Virgo always has to stay on their toes with a Taurus. By the way, make sure you guys like the video. I see seven likes and 18 people in the room. I need to see more likes, you guys. Virgo definitely believes in bettering self, but hold others to the highest standards as they do themselves. That can be irritating to others and come off overbearing or even offensive. Exactly. I guess Virgos like to tell others their faults, not to judge, but to help them better themselves. I agree. Virgos are the masters of rest resting bitch face. Yes, exactly, Sage Productions. I agree. And that, like, will make a Taurus very angry, you know, because a Taurus likes to figure someone out first. You know, like, let me just figure you out. Like, can you just crack first? Maybe if I, you know, dig my hooves into the ground, it'll scare you and I'll see some sort of, you know, intimidation in your in your energy or your face or fear, you know, and then I can go for the kill. That's the type, like, that's Taurus. Like, and it's kind of the same. You have to kind of think of the polar opposite zodiac signs as well. Scorpio is Taurus's polar opposite. So Scorpio can be the same way where they can put on a show just to kind of throw you off your game, right? Whereas Virgo's polar opposite is Pisces. So Pisces is very go with the flow, you know, go with the energy. Oh, I'm just so innocent, you know. Oh, you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm I'm not doing anything wrong. You know, meanwhile, they're, you know, taking it, taking notes about you, figuring out your weaknesses, figuring out your strengths, you know, so that they can eventually go for the kill. Like, seriously. Taurus are too hot tempered for me. I'm a Virgo. That's really not a Virgo cusp here. Virgos can definitely be vindictive, though, slighted, and they have words that have been packed away for that moment that you piss them off. They unleash exactly like a Pisces. Hey, Zuri, I made it again. Yes, I'm in the middle of a game of chess against a little Aquarius brother. He's determined to crush, crush me. Yes. Taurus can more so become physically aggressive when angry. Exactly. Exactly. And then at that point, a Taurus has shown their hand. Like, okay, I'm frustrated. I just want to win the battle now, you know. And then, you know, a Virgo may have you in their grasp, Taurus, at that time, at that moment. <clears throat> Do you know that's what I don't like about Taurus temper? My words are pretty cutting, but I always reflect upon my words right after. I'm like, oh, that, that was so wrong to say. That is a really good point. Um, just the same way that Taurus can get easily frustrated. Thank you, Lion's Earth. Just as easily as Taurus can get frustrated, Virgo can also get frustrated too. And Virgo's the type of frustrated person where they'll start yelling things at you to kind of get you to crack. Like, oh, yeah, you think you're so bad, don't you? You know, you know like that kind of stuff. Like, you know. Look at you over there, scared, scared to run run my way. You know, they try to, you know, get you to kind of crack. They get you to, you know, break, you know, and then at that point, you know, you're in Virgo's realm. You know, the next thing you know, you're charging out, the bull's charging after them. You know, Virgo, you didn't know the whole time, had a switchblade behind them, and then bam. So you have to be on, you know, you have to keep control of your emotions, Taurus, when dealing with a Virgo. That's the biggest thing, I think, for you. Hi, Alana. Taurus have beautiful eyes. Yeah, I love Taurus men. Taurus men are very attractive. Virgos need to realize that not everyone can meet their out-of-this-world standards. Yes, they want perfection, but they need to see perfection in how beautifully everyone and all the signs are made. Exactly. Yep, and here's an example. My friend had me take her to a new BF's house. I didn't like his vibe, so my ass stayed in the car. Virgo intuition. <laughs> I could give a F less if it offended him. He had dark. That is dark energy. That's something I do. I would do too, Dina, to be honest. That's what my internal battle is raging. Myth, we don't want perfection. Trust me, people. 
Yeah. I think Virgos just want to be right. Virgos just want to feel right, feel accomplished. And that's what I mean. Like, even in battle, you guys will pick apart your opponent. Um, but if you miss one small detail about your opponent that turns out being your blind spot, and you, you know that you end up being the one that loses the battle, you focus more on, oh my God, I can't believe I missed that blind spot. How could I miss that blind spot than actually losing, if that makes sense? So you guys are very like, I just want to be right. You know, I just want like to be perfect in that way. If Does that make sense? I mean, maybe it's just in this context of battle, but I just feel like that is Virgo energy. Whereas you guys focus on like, where you guys focus on like the most minute detail or the most minute aspect that actually has no significance in the grand scheme of things. But that can work for you guys as well, because then you guys can notice small details about people that, like, you know, make you, help you win battles. Like, oh, okay, this person, I don't know, what is something a Virgo would notice about their opponent? Virgo's the type of person who would be like, okay, this person tends to stutter when they talk about emotional topics. So that must be this person's weakness. So I'm going to use that against them. Or, you know, that, you know, like the Virgo can be that type of person who notice even the smallest minute details. So that can work, you know, for them too. Lamar is most always correct. I mean, almost always. Thank you, Matt. Virgo gets frustrated over petty shit, irritated, and Taurus gets to their breaking point after many moments of being passive towards things that bother them. Exactly. Slide off the shoulder, but then they snap. Exactly. My mother and my ex Pisces are freak controls. I want to lead, but I lack courage. Us Virgos just like organization and cleanliness and just want a loving relationship. That's it. Their, their weakness. Okay, Yadira. Yes. I agree. I mean,. And I'm, that kind of relates to, like, a little bit, like, how Virgos can pick apart things, pick apart their pick apart their opponents. Um, and actually, it's something Zuri mentioned to me in my reading I had from her yesterday, which was an amazing re reading, by the way, um, is that Virgos have an easy way of kind of figuring out someone's roots. Are your roots firmly planted in the, in the ground? Because we all have roots, you know. We all have something, you know, that keeps us grounded in the earth, right? Or we should, you know. Um, but a Virgo can easily tell if someone's roots are firmly planted in the ground or if someone's roots are, you know, kind of, you know, not so planted in the ground, you know. Um, so in that kind of way, they can easily figure out someone's psychological mind once again. You know, like it's easy for a Virgo to assess someone quickly as opposed to a Taurus, which may take either may take a little bit longer to figure someone out or they just make it frustrated quickly, more quickly or more easier and just give up on figuring someone out, you know, and just go for the kill once again. But Tauruses can also be very patient, too. Like I said, they're stubborn people. So don't, you know, get it twisted. Taurus are very sensual and passionate, and that's dangerous. I should know three of them. Child. Virgos also pay attention to little details about a person and can be thoughtful in that aspect. Exactly. And can get disappointed when not receiving the same, same thoughtfulness. I agree on that. I agree. And that can actually be one, like, if we're talking about relationships, that can be one point of, like, an issue between a Virgo and Taurus relationship is that Taurus is not giving the same thoughtfulness to Virgo once again, you know? Virgos are nurturing and soft deep down, though. Let them warm up to you and let them know that they don't have to keep clothes and are accepted. Then they seem, then they bloom in a glowing warmth of happiness. I agree. Having a have an amazing relationship with yourself first. Yes, um, Lions. Thank you. Now you're talking truth, sir. Yes, Matt. It takes a long minute for us to warm up, even years. But if we care for you, you've got to. Got to ride or die, friend for life. Same with Taurus. True, we are very thoughtful. I agree. And giving, yes. So who do you guys think is the strongest between these two? Is it going to be Taurus or Virgo? I have watched all the psychics on YouTube. You are the best. Thank you, Rihanna. I really appreciate that. 
QDP says Virgo. Moa and Alyssa says Taurus in the long run. Matt says Virgo. Yadira says Virgo. CH Production says Virgo. I usually stay silent and let others do the talking and always catch people's lies. I usually, I just keep filing my mind about them and use it at the perfect time, Virgo. Exactly. Virgo, because she holds the good food, so the bull will be happy being fed. Yes, Lion's Earth. Okay, so we're getting a lot of Virgos. Virgo, I think we got like one, two, three, four, five, six Virgos and one Taurus. <laughs> two of my best friends are Virgos, and let me tell you, when I fall silent, they want to help me feel better. Even when nothing is wrong, they show their love through taking care of you. I agree. I have a Virgo cousin who I love. She always knows how to make me laugh. Well, I'm both, so I say both. We are workaholics. Like, I'll have all in check. I agree. Virgo Taurus Moon. Yes, Rihanna. I don't know. Everyone says Virgo. I think, you know... I, you know, I would agree with that. I think Virgo is the strongest just because they're more in control of their emotions with this battle, you know? Um, and I think that can sometimes work against Taurus, all right? Is being kind of emotionally, I don't know, emotionally more transparent, I guess, you know? Um, so this is a battle of who is gonna crack first. This is the battle of, are you going to show your hand? This is the battle of, are you going to do it or not? You know, like, if I push your buttons, will you break? You know, like, it's that kind of battle. It's not really a physical battle between these two, I feel. Taurus seemed very impulsive to me. I agree, Matt. But that makes them stronger. They're more open in that aspect. I agree, Mo and, and, Elisa, and Alyssa. I think Tauruses are equally as strong as well. You know, definitely in their own right, for sure. Nope, never break. Yes, Rihanna, I hear that, honey. All right, I love you guys. I've had so much fun on this live. Thank you for being here. Um, looks like Virgo wins this battle, but you know me. I say both are equally as strong in their own right. So thank you all so much for being here. I really love you guys. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. I see nine people in the room, and, or not 18 people in the room and nine likes. Please give me more likes. I really, really appreciate your likes. Also, if you would like a personal reading, check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. All right. Um, and make sure you hit the bell next to the subscribe button so that you get a notification whenever I go live as well. <clears throat> Taurus can be emotionally detached at times and not even know why they feel like they feel, but later observe and down the line begin to understand their emotions exactly. Correction, Virgo wins. Virgo knows why they feel how they feel because they're analytical. Thank you, Dina. Thanks, Samar, and I was just joking about you being biased. Thank you, Matt. What do you think about Pisces? I love Pisces. Yes, and subscribe. Yes, please subscribe. Join the fun. Lots of willpower in this Taurus moon. Yes, Lions Earth. Love you, boo. Love you too, Dina. Dina. You're welcome, Yudira. You have a great night too, Alana. Thank you all for being here. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you contact me for a personal reading if you want, want one at lamartownsendtarot.com or just type in Lamar Townsend Tarot on Google and check out my new song, Forbidden Fruit, on iTunes. All right. I love you guys. Until next time, namaste, love, and light.